This is an interim study um, on a clinical trial where patients on um, a above standard dose of ecolizumab um, were switched over to standard weight-based dosing of ravaluzumab. So patients uh, in the UK were, are usually treated um, initially with ecolizumab, um, which was approved in 2007, um, providing um, life-saving treatment for patients with PNH. Following on from the 301 and 302 um, studies looking at switching patients from ecolizumab to ravaluzumab, this was eligible for patients who are on standard dose of 900 milligrams well controlled of ecolizumab. However, in the UK, we have around 15 to 20% of patients who are on a higher than standard dose of ecolizumab, and these patients are not eligible to go into these clinical studies. So this was a UK-based study um, between the um, Leeds service and the King service in London um, with 18 patients enrolled. They were on 1,200 milligrams of ecolizumab um, and they were changed over to standard weight-based dosing of ravulizumab to see the response. The um, primary outcome measure was um, breakthrough hemolysis um, throughout the study and um, control of um, C5 levels, secondary objectives um, of including LDH control. Um, 10 out of the 18 patients were eligible for interim analysis. All patients within the study, the 10 out of the 18 at interim analysis, had um, well-controlled um, C5 levels below the threshold of 0.5, um, and there was no clinical um, episodes of breakthrough hemolysis um, associated with this. We did have one um, episode of reported breakthrough hemolysis, um, which patients patient um, was at some distance from our hospital um, and the LDH went up to just below twice the upper limit of normal um, but we called the patient in by day four and their C5 um, levels were well controlled within this. So the interim analysis um, would suggest that switching over from standard ecolizumab based dosing at 1200 milligrams um, can, patients can commence on weight-based ravulizumab dosing. I would emphasize that ecolizumab is not weight-based um, dosing, it's standard dosing um, irrespective of weight. But we will await the full um, report from the 18 patients in due course.